Hey guys, welcome back. Sad day today. We're going to be um digging out some of the tropical garden up there and just it's sad, bittersweet. It's come to an end. We got a few months of winter ahead of us now, so brought the um tropical bonsais closer to the pond so they can be moved in. This taro, it never actually made it out of the pot this year, so we um we dragged that thing up. The pond has been winterized. The koi are inside now. The waterfall's all stopped. Fuchsias look beautiful. They look beautiful right up until December, usually. I love it. Or until um, a hard frost, anyways. Tracy's worked hard in the um, Japanese garden to clear it out of all the, the hostas and the ferns and stuff. They'll be back next year. But now we have to say goodbye to the beautiful Bergmansia oh, and the red banana. They have to come in the garage. But it's never looked as good as it does like right now. Other than the flowers are kind of past their prime, but just look at how loaded it is. You go right under it, it's huge. So many big flowers. It just, it got so massive. It's so sad that um, we have to take it down. Cut it down. It doesn't fit in our garage, so we have to like lose a lot of the growth, but. It's just so loaded with flowers, it's so sad that we got to um, think about doing this, but eventually there's going to be frost and then that would hurt it more than this, but it just looks so good right now. I just wanted to share it with you guys. And the red banana, it made a complete comeback. This guy we're just going to cut down at the base and um, cut her down just like a tree. Put her um, in a pot. It, it did make a complete comeback. This is the one that I broke the shovel on last year. But again, look how the Bergmantia has just like covered everything. I'm gonna take one more shot of it from up the stairs. Up we go. There's the bamboo in the gardens ahead of us. And our pergola with the wisteria. And just look at how big that is. Just beautiful. It is, yeah. That's there's two trees there, but one one was really tiny down on the edge, and the other one that is one tree. It must span 10, 12 feet wide, and I would say it's 10 feet tall, anyways. Yeah, you can see the greenhouse in the background. But anyways, sad day. Just thought I would share it one last time. It must have a hundred blooms on it right now. Oh, I know, and it smells amazing right now. This smells amazing. The red maple looks nice right now. <laughs> looks really good. But there's there's the real sign that fall is coming. The maple the maple knows. There's our giant pots we're gonna be using. They're 25 gallon pots. That's what these guys are gonna go in. Oh man, so sad. Anyway, thanks for watching.